So Bayer Leverkusen from Germany is race 17 up against Mercantile and Attention! on the Berkshire Bank the Germans go, wait under starters orders and away they go the power of the eight off the pontoon and the uh, puddles that they're creating desperately trying to get the early initiative the early advantage the quality of the rowing as the days go by will increase and very tidy from these coxed eights there past Temple Island very neatly mercantile nearest to you in the picture there in the red and white by Leverkusen in the blue and white in the background have just taken an early advantage and just creeping up with every stroke and they look extremely proficient at the moment the Germans they've just taken the early lead here but yeah that's uh, definitely half a length and, and growing yes it looks like the uh, Germans will be possibly taking this all overseas encounter of course the defending champions in the Thames Challenge Cup aren't here to defend their title but last year it was run by another German club from Frankfurt uh, from Frankfurt sorry um, Mercantile down from uh, down in Melbourne in Victoria Australia so they've come a heck of a long way to race here great rowing club with a very proud history in this all overseas battle um, however looks like it's going to go European way Mercantile, the semi-finalist in the Thames Challenge Cup last year at Henley. And just having a look at them at this stage, could be the end of their regatta in this particular event because they're some way down already against Bayer Leverkusen from Germany. And we've got uh, several lengths on them. That is a huge gap early on in front of the bars further down the course. I think really this German crew has got a number of German under 23 internationals and to my eyes Tim they just look very powerful they just look like every time they put the oars in the water they can just propel the boat that tiny bit further which is why you see just a steady move away from Mercantile who I think just a little bit underpowered yeah the uh, technique and the uh, physicality at the moment paying off just having a look at uh, the race as it unfolds here and on the Berkshire Bank it's the Germans who are looking very slick indeed finalists in the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup and the Britannia Challenge Cup last year at Henley semi-finalists in the Britannia a couple of years back as well so they've got some pedigree they know what Henry Royal regattas are all about and you can, it's a great shot isn't it you can see the communication they're uh, very talkative boats aren't they the Germans as they uh, head down the course Plenty of opportunity for communication and they'll be happy with their race plan at the moment because they can see the gap and now they just need to maintain the gap preserve a bit of energy for the weekend so this is the third crew of course that Leverkusen have raced in the previous rounds they dispatched Eastbourne Rowing Club from the south coast and the Lee uh, from over in the docks in East London so this is the first foreign crew they've raced and I must say they're looking pretty good. Um, they're looking pretty dominant this event, and I'll be very interested to see how far they progress. I think we can safely say they'll progress through this round and into the weekend. I think they've uh, not put an all wrong so far, have they? And they haven't got too much further to go. They're just getting to the uh, part of the course which is overlooked by the grandstand. You'll see the big white marquees in the background in a few strokes time. I think just seeing these two, you know, one of the finest clubs from Australia, one of the finest clubs from Germany, and seeing them fight it out right here in England just reminds us how lucky we are to have an event like Henley. And it really is the magic of the event is that we can attract some of the best rowers from around the world at every single level, not just the Olympians, but the top club guys, top junior guys, to come here and, and fight it out right in front of us here on the Thames. Gone past the mile marker. And the Germans remain in the lead by several lengths against the Australians into the final few hundred yards now. A bit of a grimace on the face of the bowman from the German boat, Patrick Stocker. But they do look relaxed, they look fluent, and they look completely in control in this particular heat. By Leverkusen of Germany. One last push to the line. 
Got a glance over the shoulder from Fabian Minberg there. Ginger head in two. Glance to see where the line is. It's not too far away, Fabian's the answer to that. If you're starting to feel the pain, which no doubt you are, after a mile and a bit of rowing here at Henry Raw Regatta. Really impressive from the Germans. A convincing win for Bayer Leverkusen in that Thames heat mercantile. A couple of lengths down at the end of the heat. Tired limbs, no doubt. Not a record-breaking performance, but emphatic nonetheless, and the Germans progressing through.